There is a king of whom the bards are silent. And you will not hear his name from me, for I will give him no word of him. But long ago he ruled the Middle Kingdom with an iron hand. And he looked at it, and he did not see that it was good. He saw that it was divided into regions. There was North Shield, and there was Oaken, and there was Eldomir. And he was angry. And in his rage, he destroyed the regions. He banished them. He forbade their name to be spoken. And much good it did him. <laughs> For kings come and go, but hearts stay true. But Eldermere, well banished, did not speak its own name. They would go and fight at Pensick on the Middle Kingdom's side and sit in their camp and chant, we have to drink all the beer. <laughs> all the beer. <laughs> oh. And they made a beautiful set of crowns for the Middle Kingdom. And underneath every single stone set in it was engraved, made in Eldermere. <laughs> and they continued in this passive resistance, being Canadians, yes, <laughs> until at last the Mid-Realm could deny reality no longer and realized that maybe regions weren't such a bad thing after all. Certainly, Eldermere had a geographic reason for being separate. It was a different country, after all. Maybe they could be a crown principality. But what would they call it? They'd call it Eldermere. <laughs> Dummy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They'd call it Eldermere. It was a different king then. So, Tadashi and Ariaki came to the first Principality Tournament and discovered that it was an open tournament. And Her Majesty Ariaki, who was quite young, said, but you can't have an open tournament. That's against the rules. It has to be invitational, like all kingdoms do. <laughs> and somebody said, Morgana, will you go talk to the queen? <laughs> Why is it always me? because I'm old enough to be her mother, twice. <laughs> so I took Her Majesty aside and said, Your Majesty, in fact, all other kingdoms do not have invitational crown tournaments the way the middle does. And she said, really? <laughs> really? Well, why do we? Said, well, there was this guy named Michael of Borshaven. <laughs> <laughs> and I went to the whole nine yards of that particular story. And she said, wow, <laughs> I never heard of that. So how you weren't born yet. <laughs> so their principality tournaments continued as an open tournament. And the first winners were David and Kang Whistle, first prince and princess of Eldermere. And many good things happened after that. But Eldermere received its place, and other regions sprang up again. Oaken, North Shield, <laughs> Midlands, Constellation. And much in, in contrary to the fears of the evil king, they did not all immediately run right off and become kingdoms. Some of them did, for good, solid geographic reasons. And some of them stayed part of the middle, because it made, doesn't make a whole lot of sense to be the king of Indiana. Who would want to be the king of Indiana? No one wants to be the king of Indiana. Name the dog Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> so, that is a story about a man with no word fame. 
on how Eldermere first held the Principality Tournament and how they made the crowns that said made in Eldermere. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.